Mount Etna under super tight surveillance. Scientists fear a collapse that could send the volcano sliding into the sea and trigger a tsunami. Sicily, Italy Science Watch. Long before dawn breaks over the Mediterranean, Mount Etna is already awake. Beneath the snow-dusted summit and the blackened lava fields that scar its flanks, the mountain hums with low-frequency vibrations, signals too subtle for human senses, but unmistakable to the instruments now blanketing the volcano. Seismometers twitch. GPS stations register microscopic shifts. Satellites pass overhead, scanning the mountain's skin for deformation measured in millimeters. Edna is no longer simply active. It is under super tight monitoring. And the reason is not just eruption. A new focus of fear. For decades, the world has viewed Mount Etna mainly as an eruptive threat, lava flows, ash clouds, air traffic disruptions. But inside the scientific community, concern has quietly shifted toward a far more devastating possibility. the physical collapse of part of the volcano itself into the sea. Unlike sudden explosive eruptions, this threat unfolds slowly, almost invisibly. Entire sectors of Etna's eastern and southeastern flanks are known to be unstable, creeping downslope under their own enormous weight. Gravity, once it gains momentum, does not negotiate. a mountain that is moving. Etna is not a rigid cone. It is a colossal layered structure built over hundreds of thousands of years, lava stacked on lava, ash compressed into fragile rock, all resting on sediments sloping gently toward the Ionian Sea. Using high precision GPS and satellite radar, scientists have confirmed that large sections of Etna are moving seaward in some areas by centimeters per year. On human timescales, this feels trivial. On geological timescales, it is alarming. What worries researchers is not the movement itself, but the potential for acceleration. A slow slide can suddenly become a rapid failure. The domino effect scientists fear. The scenario scientists model again and again begins deep underground. Magma intrudes into Etna's plumbing system, forcing rock apart. Pressure builds, fractures widen. Seismic swarms ripple outward as stress redistributes through the mountain. Each intrusion weakens the internal architecture, especially along ancient fault lines that already dip toward the sea. Then gravity takes over. If a massive flank were to detach suddenly millions or even billions of cubic meters of rock, it could plunge into the Mediterranean with unstoppable force. And when land that large meets water, the ocean does not stay calm. Tsunami risk, not speculation, but precedent? Scientists are careful with their words, but the fear is grounded in evidence. Geological records show that around 8,000 years ago, a gigantic collapse on Etna's eastern flank likely sent a tsunami racing across the Mediterranean. Sediment deposits found far inland along distant coastlines suggest waves far higher than ordinary storms. This is why modern scientists take the threat seriously. A sudden collapse today would not just affect Sicily. Tsunami models show that waves could radiate outward across the Ionian and Eastern Mediterranean, potentially impacting Southern Italy, Greece, Malta, and North Africa, depending on the size and speed of the collapse. Why monitoring is now unprecedented. Etna is now one of the most instrumented volcanoes on Earth. Seismic arrays listen for subtle changes in earthquake depth and frequency. 
Continuous GPS stations measure ground motion in real time. Satellite radar INSAR detects surface deformation invisible to the naked eye. Gas sensors track changes in sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide that may signal magma movement. Submarine instruments monitor the seafloor near Etna's submerged flanks, searching for instability beneath the waves. Every data stream feeds into live models that simulate worst case outcomes, not because disaster is imminent, but because early detection is the only defense. The key question scientists cannot yet answer. The most unsettling truth is also the most honest one. No one knows when a collapse might occur or if it will happen at all in the near future. It could be thousands of years away. It could remain a slow creep forever. Or it could accelerate suddenly, triggered by a powerful eruption or magma intrusion. Volcanic flank collapses rarely give clear warnings. When they fail, they often do so catastrophically. Life on the slopes continues. Despite the tension beneath the surface, life around Mount Etna continues as it has for centuries. Vineyards cling to volcanic soil enriched by ancient eruptions. Towns glow at night along the coastline. Fishing boats cross the same waters that scientists quietly model as potential tsunami pathways. Most residents know Etna's temperament well, but few consider that the mountain itself could one day move. Prepared, not panicked, scientists emphasize that there is no immediate sign of an imminent collapse. Monitoring exists precisely to avoid surprise. The current data shows movement, but not runaway failure. Yet, Etna's story is not one of calm reassurance. It is a reminder that Earth's most powerful hazards do not always arrive with fire and ash. Sometimes, they arrive with silence, gravity, and time. Mount Etna stands towering above Sicily Ancient, restless, and watched more closely now than at any point in human history not because it is about to fall, but because if it ever does, the consequences would echo far beyond the volcano itself, across the sea, across nations, and across history.